hi guys welcome back to my channel um in this clip i'm at decap's farmer's market i had to re-up on my vegetables and fish um they wouldn't allow me to um, record fully so these are some of the clippings before they told me to turn it off knowing that i went on a monday um supplies was kind of really dry so i believe their restock days was later on closer to friday so coming in from Ponce City Farmer's Market, since I've skipped breakfast and lunch, I just went straight into dinner, which was um, a salad and fish and shrimp, and also a lot of other stuff that you see there on my table um, from all types of vegetables. I kind of went ham in the farmer's market. I love going. Um, I actually wanted to add something different this time to my salad, which is the red peppers and radishes. Sometime as a salad eater, um, you get tired of eating cucumbers, onions, your regular regimen um, with your salad condiments. And I just wanted to try something different. And actually, it actually tastes good. Um, so you would just see me in this clip chopping up the vegetables and putting them in the salad. Um, and then I'm going to switch to um, battering the shrimp, which I actually did something different. I used canned milk instead of an egg batter. Um, I liked it. It was different and it really didn't taste any different, to be honest.
Okay, so I went to Bagel Boys the following morning to get a hash brown because I was in the area. Um, I know I should have went to Starbucks, but I wanted to try Bagel Boys. And to be honest, I only got a hash brown, which was kind of burnt and dry that I needed ketchup. Um, but they was the service was so nice, and I actually knew the owner. I really didn't want to tell him that I got a burnt hash brown. 
So later on, after Bagel Boys, I went back to the house and had me some lunch that carried over to dinner, which was the Lipton um, soup, chicken soup, without literal chicken. It was just the chicken broth, and I added celery, carrots, and onions, and I believe garlic. Uh, nothing to me can't nothing top this soup. I'm in love with this soup so much. I don't use Campbell's or Progressive is just Lipton soup. I believe because I can add my own um, extra condiments to it that I like and I just stuck with it for so many years and it was more, it's not a cheap meal but it's more of a lazy soup meal when you're just in the house and you don't, you can't think of nothing else to cook. Um, but yeah, it, it tastes good. Y'all have to try it. Good morning, everybody. So, more or less, I'm a tea drinker, rather it's at night or before I go to bed. Um, my favorite tea is green tea. Um, I believe people used to say the best tea. Um, Chinese people, they drink green tea for their skin. Now everybody's on a tea kick. Um, and the teapot that you see is from Crate and Barrel. I love Crate and Barrel. Um, I'm always trying to find stuff. They just be taking my money. Um, but do anybody else don't use faucet water? They use bottled water. Um, not trying to be bougie, but it is what it is.
Also, I've been reading if you um, take a cup of hot water with lemon and honey on an empty stomach early in the morning, um, it'll improve your digestive system and boost your immune system. So that's a good healthy tip in case nobody didn't know. It's the next morning, and since I had leftovers last night, I felt no need to record. I just had the shrimp stir fry with the string beans um, the, from the night before, or yeah, which y'all seen previously. Um, right about now, I'm fixing coffee. I like to mix my vanilla with the Columbia. Um, I feel like it gives me a little boost, the Columbia tea, because the Columbia, sorry, coffee, uh, it it gives you a energized like you have a shot of espresso which I like but I also like everything vanilla and they was out of the coconut cream that I usually have so I had no choice but to get the hazelnut um, usually I get the um, vanilla almond milk or some type of coconut but they didn't have anything so I had to settle for what they had and yeah, and I like this little teapot, even though I wish I would have got a bigger one because it's only for one single cup, which I don't drink a lot of coffee. I only get the, even when I go to Starbucks, I even get the small because I felt like I would waste a medium or a venti. I never ordered a venti before. As long as I've been going to Starbucks, I never ordered a venti. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. I try it. Not with coffee, but a refresher. Um, but yeah, I just have to wait and I like to ball my creamer and I had to scratch it out with the milk because I didn't want just creamer. I don't add sugar because I feel the creamer is a lot sweeter. So for me, it'd be too sweet for somebody that don't drink sodas and just drink water. Um, I felt like it, it'd be really sweet if I add sugar on top of the creamer and a little bit of milk or half and half, which I ain't have half and half. I scratched it out with the milk that I had too, just to dilute it. Um, because I just, I don't like strong coffee. I'm not saying that I like milk down coffee, but you can, it have to be a balance for me to completely drink the whole cup. <laughs> Especially after blow drying and pressing out my hair with the flat iron, I just wasn't about to do it. So I was a little lazy and I just ordered some takeout food. 
um, vegetable lo mein. I didn't want to do anything serious because um, my appetite as a woman, I believe everybody go through this. Your appetite goes from light to heavy or heavy to light. Some days you want to eat, some days you don't. Um, so I just, this carried me on to dinner because I ate half um, lunchtime and then I had the rest at dinner. Thank you guys for watching um, this video. I pretty eat realistically. I don't eat healthy every day. Um, not saying that I eat uh, gluttonly and heavy all the time, um, but this week was pretty light. Majority of my weeks are, is light. I juice sometimes or I do smoothies in the morning, tea, coffee, and I carry it on to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't even eat lunch sometimes. I just carry it from breakfast to dinner. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please show some love for the girl. Thumbs up this video. Um, hopefully I see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.